Order in the Court is a new Paladin spell that rearranges your deck from highest to lowest. People have found success playing this card drawing into Light Ray or Jailer, but I am going to be drawing into Frontlines, a 9 mana spell that summons minions from each player's deck until one side of the board is full. So of course with Frontlines we want to be playing large minions, so when both players summon up to 7 minions, mine are going to be bigger and they can kill the opponent's minions. At 9 mana, Frontlines is unfortunately still pretty slow, but that's where Barbaric Sorceress comes in to give it a significant discount. And of course with all these big minions we've also got Vandar Stormpike as a nice backup plan. Barbaric Sorceress is beautiful. Might be too slow against Rogue. I don't know what the Rogues are up to nowadays. But it's still my win condition. If Barbaric Sorceress is too slow, then I'm probably just never going to win. Maybe a Vandar draw could do it, but can't really rely on that single card. So I need to play both copies of Order in the Court on turn 5 or sooner. I can go Hero Power here, Great Hall next turn, or even Hero Power again next turn, then Hero Power, Great Hall on 4, and then Double Order in the Court on 5. I'll just get Great Hall online. I might use it on a recruit next turn, but I might want to use it defensively. Good old three minute sprint. Man, they're definitely playing a deck that's trying to pop off if they've got that card. Do I use my location here? I mean, it's kind of hard for them to do too much next turn. I think it makes sense. And then I'll have access to it again on the uh, Barbaric Sorceress turn. Alright, that order in the court obviously doesn't do anything, but I do have to dump it. And it looks like my opponent hasn't popped off too hard here. So I'm in a reasonably good spot. And there's also some chance that Barbaric Sorceress hits a zero mana spell out of the opponent. Maybe it's likely even. No, leave the backstab in your hand. Oh, 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 friend. What's that coin doing in your hand? Oh, we hit Necrolord Draca. Yeah, no reason to use the location. My opponent can coin coin scabs. I don't know if they play scabs in that deck though. Surely you don't play scabs in Frostwolf Warmaster. Uh Frostwolf Warmaster Rogue, right? Although it's good with Mailbox Dancer. That's why we killed Draca, because I was afraid of Shadow Step, but Shadow Step obviously is also really good on Edwin. Would have been nice if I hit some, you know, some more ways to kill minions there. But even if Edwin gets huge, I've got the location for it.
They only drew one minion. They're running low on cards. Five cards left in deck. Scribbling Steno. That's an easy win for Uther. Those aren't the good ones. Wouldn't mind an equality combo against uh, Enrage Warrior, but it's better to just trade away the city tax, I think. All right. Well, as long as my opponent doesn't pop off too hard, this is looking pretty good. Although, I think that deck plays like no spells. So I don't actually know how good Barbaric Sorceress is. Oh, okay, it's Control Warrior with location. Speaking of location, let's go. Bam, three damage. It's also nice to have Countess in hand already, so I don't... Uh, pull her off of front lines. Probably shouldn't have hero powered since they can draw a card off of it. Maybe I don't care though. This opponent do be drawn cards, which means they're pretty much guaranteed to have a spell. It's time. Five mana, so hopefully that means I hit their brawl. I don't know what else it would be. But if they have a nine mana brawl, that means pretty much only the second brawl is an answer to front lines. Also, they could pull powerful minions, but hopefully I'm pulling, like, the Atari Mutanus. Or, like, Faceless Manipulator. Stuff like that. I guess it is kind of dangerous to maybe pull out Battlemaster. Then they have the opportunity to attack. Especially when I have double Forge Fiend and Tyrion in hand. But that's what Abominable Lieutenant's for, right? Oh, they are popping off. Excellent. Alright, do you have the other brawl? Even if they brawl here, most of my minions are still pretty scary. And then I can just drop a Leviathan next turn. Also, with a Faceless and a Grom down, even if they clear my board, maybe I just play Cariel and, like... I can't lose. Thirty six. Okay, they did need to play that Frozen Buckler because I believe I am showing thirty six. Oh. Oh wait, no, this has to attack a minion, never mind. I didn't miss the 5-5. Five, five. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alright, opponent is at 7. With the opponent at 7, I can even beat Snowed In. Because my weapon will do 3. The dragons will do another 4. And then even if they armor up, I can just play Cariel. Beautiful.
Wowie. I think Cavalry Horn... Eh, maybe it is good with Vandar. Because before you play Vandar, you're going to draw some garbage. Maybe Order in the Court is bad with Vandar. I don't think so, though. Especially against Paladin, I can, like, snipe their Jailer or whatever with front lines. It can be pretty useful. Alright, well there's front lines without needing to play Order in the Court. After Vandar, Denathrius costs 7, but the 8s cost 5. I guess that's just pretty good to Order in the Court if I'm playing Vandar anyway, right? Nothing playable this turn, but that was pretty expected. I think my opponent will probably be drawing Light Ray if I had to guess. So the question is, do I play Cavalry Horn this turn? Brasswing is pretty good. I guess if I'm expecting Light Ray, Brasswing is better. Because I can clear their board and then they play a bunch of garbage next turn. Brasswing kills everything and then Lieutenant can eat Light Ray. But I guess if I go Cavalry Horn and then Brasswing, that also kills Light Ray. I don't know. Kind of tough. I think the Horn is slow. And it's generally good to play slow cards before fast cards. A 5-7. It's a tasty looking 5-7. I might be over committing to the board a bit here. But if they dump inequality, that's like pretty good for when I play front lines later. Oh, hate to see it off Battle Vicar though. Forge Fiend. And then I don't want to play Cariel next turn because front lines is probably going to hit Tyrion. Okay, well there's Tyrion, which makes playing Lightforged Cariel better. But I still think Templar Captain is quite good here. Maybe this gets another equality out of my opponent. Beautiful. Alright, front lines. All I ask is that you hit my opponent's jailer. That's all I ask. Where's my opponent's Jailer? Alright, well, I hit Brasswing, so I don't need to kill any of this stuff. I don't know if anything here is even useful. I guess a quality to go with Cariel. 
All right, if they have a third equality, they win. There's Jailer. Unfortunately, I didn't snipe, like, Ragnaros or anything like that. Oh, wait, I have my lieutenant to eat the Jailer. Uh, none of this matters. Yummy Jailer. If they have Denathrius, I guess Frontlines does put a lot of stats into it. But it's not going to kill Lieutenant. Yeah. I think Lieutenant just kind of solo wins the game at this point. Well, we definitely don't need front lines if we already have order in the court, right? Oh my god, and we got the Barbaric Sorceress. And Mage is relatively slow. Doesn't really have great board clears. Unless they hit, like, Wildfire, Wildfire, Magister Dawn Grasp. And uh, Reckless Apprentice. Or even just Mordresh, I guess. Cold case on turn two. So I need to play double order in the court by turn five. Can definitely still hold off for one turn. I am just kind of getting beat up here, but hitting brass wing off front lines could be a game winner. I do have a brass wing in hand already though, which kind of sucks. Yikes, these draws. Well, I have to play one of these this turn in case I draw into... Uh, like, if I didn't, I could draw into Equality or City Tax. I guess City Tax would be fine. I could draw into Equality. Well, I do get to kill one of my opponent's 2-2s two here. But I'm taking 6 when I'm at 13. Not looking so hot. What are my odds on hitting Brasswing? Well, I guess it depends entirely on how many things I get to pull. Don't steal my Barbaric Sorceress, please. That is definitely fine. And I can Finley into City Tax Equality since I know they're on the bottom of my deck. I guess even better, maybe I would just double city tax. I could also draw into Vandar with that. I'm just kind of like getting my ass beat here. And it seems like if I just play Barbaric Sorceress, they trade these in. That's five guaranteed to go face and then a hero power guarantees kills me. So yeah, I can't. I can't do the Barbaric Sorceress line. So, is it Equality City Tax or Double City Tax? I mean, I guess it's nice to have the backup, right? So, I should still be drawing, like, eight mana cards next turn, right? Cariel would be very welcome. It also is good to keep in mind that my opponent stole a front lines with Theotar, which is unplayable for them. They will lose the game if they attempt to use it. Um, I don't think it makes much sense to equip this weapon. Because I think Lightforge, Cariel, and Tyrion are near the top. Could be wrong about that. I remember having Denathrius, Frontlines, Brasswing, and Barbaric Sorceress. I don't remember what else there was, but there were like three other cards.
Oh, I hate that. There's no way Mordresh is online though, right? And that's the only thing I should be afraid of? I can city tax those, maybe. Oh, they didn't even hit Frost. Okay, I would like to heal here. So city tax plus brass wing actually heals me for five. I think that's pretty good. And then I'll just play Forge Fiend. God, do I need to heal though? Could just play Templar Captain. Hero power. I guess it could be like Wildfire or Reckless Apprentice hero power could kill me. I don't know if that's really something I need to be worried about. But I guess it's good to take the healing while it's free. And I'm for sure just threatening lethal here. Mass polymorph? That is annoying. I'll give him that. That's fucking annoying. But check this out. Big sheep. Then I probably just play two five drops. Push six here. They're at 13. I feel like Mordresh is probably still not active, right? And if it is, nothing I do beats it, so it doesn't really matter. Can't hero power my location, even though it does have two health. I hope this is my opponent giving up and not me disconnecting. I guess if I'm disconnecting, it doesn't show the rope, right? I will take my lethal. Man, very surprised I was able to win that game. <laughs>